An awesome first round of games, oh, super yeah. close matchups, a lot of highlights, but we still got a lot to go. Oh, yeah. Kelly, we got to get right into this. To Twin Lakes High School we go. It's the Indians who are hosting the Tri-County Cavaliers. The Indian offense starting off scorching hot, courtesy of Jamison Owsley. He made sure everybody brought their umbrellas. He was making it rain early from range. He had the hot hand, and as it seemed as though he was unconscious from deep tonight. Cavaliers were keeping up with them as Tyler Burns doing his best Kobe imitations, hitting the contested mid-range fadeaway, and then connecting with the nylon once again. Second half saw another player finding his rhythm for the Indians. Bryce Wilhite connects with the wide open three, and then from the same spot just inside the line. Easy to say he has the quarter specialist badge equipped tonight. Twin Lakes perimeter shooter was too much for the Cavaliers to handle. The Indians take this one, 47-37. Over to McCutcheon, it was a packed house as the Mavs Ooh. hosted the number five Kokomo Wildcats. Mavericks looking for their first win of the year, but they were up against a team that's averaging 67 per game. McCutcheon taking their time, finding their splash player, Owen Saline. He drains one and finished the night with 12 points. Mavs down 11-7 after the first. Second quarter, Kokomo finding a rhythm on offense. There's big man Flory Badunga finishing down low. The Kansas commit then with the board and in transition, his teammate with an alley-oop for Badunga to slam down. But McCutcheon limited him to just nine points tonight. After that play, Kokomo was fired up. They shot 47% from the field in the second half. Final score, Wildcats win 59-34. to 34. I mean, all credit to that uh, McCutcheon defense. They're holding him to nine points. This guy is a stud. He's crazy. I saw him at, at Lafayette Jeff last year, and yeah. Lafayette Jeff did well against him, too. It was a close one last year, but that one not as close, but still credit to the Mavs for right. holding him down. Guess Kansas you just got to hold possession, yeah. right? And make sure he doesn't touch the ball. Do whatever you can yeah. to get the ball out of his Top hands. Top-ranked player in the country right there. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Kelly, awesome games there, but we got a couple more games we got to get through. Sports 18's Gabe Overmiller has the highlights from Frontier and North White. Gabe, what do you got? Yeah, Vinny Kelly, as per usual, I have two games on the docket tonight. After seeing a lot of Lafayette area basketball last week in the Hoops Classic, tonight I traveled up north of the station to catch some hoops. First stop, Frontier High School. The Rossville Hornets visiting the Falcons tonight. Frontier looking for their first win of the season. Rossville bringing full court pressure early. Frontier figures it out though with a heads up play. Reed Duncan finds Colton Delosh to tie the game at 2-2. Hornets with a turn to respond, but Braden Woolen is met by a flock of Falcons. Reed Duncan snags it away from Frontier, takes it coast to coast for the score. Falcons up by two. Midway through the first quarter, this is what we call a turning point. Caden Wilson of Rossville knocks down a triple. That bucket gives the Hornets a three-point advantage. Rossville this time picking up the tempo. Braden Thiele Hahn finishes with the inside hand. The lead grows to five and the fast break just seems to be Rossville's best friend tonight. Ball finds the hands of Thiele Han again, and he'll finish again. Rossville goes on a 13-0 run that extends into the second quarter, and Frontier just can never recover. Rossville comes out on top, final score of 60-24 in Chalmers tonight. And a little further north on State Road 43, Rensselaer Central visiting the North White Vikings tonight. Now taking a look late in the second quarter, the Bombers are already up by 26. The inside feed to Caden Rowland gives them two more. Second half now, how about the vision from Jack Chapman for the Bombers? Corbin Matthew finishes the bucket. At this point, their lead is 32. Bombers with the ball again. This highlight the epitome of awareness. Caden Rowland catches midair, dishes to Chapman, and Chapman puts it in. Great fundamental play from Rensselaer right there. A North White looking for their first field goal of the half. Dane Hood sees the lane and takes advantage to give the Vikings two. Rensselaer ultimately too much to handle tonight though. They win it, final score of 65 to 24 after an impressive performance from the Bombers. That does it for my top plays from up north. Vinny and Kelly, I'll toss it back over to you guys. Getting those two games. Absolutely. A couple of blowouts out north. But hey, I think if it's anything like North White football, this team's going to come back. They've got some athletes up there, and they proved during that football season that they're a tough team to beat. So hopefully they can turn things around for basketball. Oh, yeah. Well, still ahead, we got our